Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to see speed, distance and time and few problems on it. Speed is a measure of how quickly an object moves from one place to another. It is equal to the distance travelled divided by the time. In this picture you see over here, distance is over time. So speed equal to distance divided by time. Now to find time, it's distance divided by speed. To find distance, time is beside speed. So it's speed into time is distance. Speed is denoted by the letter S and distance is denoted by the letter D. And they both are calculated by meters per second or kilometers per hour. And time is denoted by the letter T and is calculated by seconds, minutes and or hours. If you remember this picture, you will easily remember the formula. Let's see the conversion chart. One kilometer is thousand meters. One hour is sixty minutes. One minute is sixty seconds. And one hour is sixty into sixty, which is three thousand six hundred seconds. In order to convert one kilometer per hour unit to meter per second unit, in one kilometer, there are 1000 meters and in one hour, there are 3600 seconds. So we write 1000 meters over here and 3600 seconds over here. When we simplify this, we get 5 by 18 meters per second. Now, in order to convert meters per second to kilometers per hour one meter is one by thousand kilometers so we write one by thousand kilometers in one second there's one by three thousand six hundred hours so we write one by three thousand six hundred hours when we bring this one when we bring this 3600 to the numerator, it becomes 1 by 1000 into 3600. So, meter, meter per second is 3600 by 1000. When we simplify this, it is 18 by 5 kilometers per hour. Let's see how to remember the count conversion formula easily. To convert kilometers per hour to meters per second, multiply 5 by 80. Meter is less than kilometer. So the lesser number goes on the numerator. So 5 by 18. To convert meter per second to kilometer per hour, it's me multiply 18 by 5. Kilometer is greater than meter. So the greater number goes on the numerator. So 18 by 5. This is how we can remember the conversion formula easily. Let's see a problem for better understanding. Problem number 1. A boy walks at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour. How much time does, a he, does he take to walk a distance of 30 kilometers? First, write the given data. The speed is 5 kilometers per hour. And it says, how much time? So, we have to find the time. And it says, he take to walk a distance of 30 kilometers. So the distance is 30 kilometers. In this picture over here, 
you see that time is distance divided by speed. So time equal to distance divided by speed. The distance is 30 and the speed is 5. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 hours. So the boy takes 6 hours to walk a distance of 30 kilometers. Let's see problem number 2. A cyclist covers a distance of 18 miles in 2 hours. Calculate his speed. First, write the given data. The distance is 18 miles and the time is 2 hours. 2 hours. We have to find the speed. So, as you see in this picture of yours, speed is equal to distance divided by time. So, D divided by T. The distance is 18 and the time is 2. So, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So, so he travels at 9 miles per hour. Thanks for watching.